Hey. Okay, I just did a massive, big trimming. I don't know if you can see that. So, <laughs> a big pile. All right, a couple of things here for this little minimal tank update. Um, a lot of people say that jungle vial inhibits duckweed, but I mean, as you can see here, it's possible. I could never have duckweed before and never survived, but for some reason in here now that I, uh, they got kind of a corner to sit in, they do great. So that's good because I mean, it's beneficial to everything else. I'm trying to not get that light in here, but uh, this looks pretty neat. I got my water level lowered a little bit, and um, when I trimmed a lot of plants, it lowered it too. But um, yeah, you can see the pothos plant's doing good. The jungle valve's been growing back like crazy, but it's kind of mostly growing back towards this side, but that's just the way that it wants to wrap around. <clears throat> These guys are all going nuts because I need to feed them. <laughs> but, um... Uh, everyone that's left in here is still doing pretty good. I, I do only have three quarries, but I've been that way for a long time. Little ram here. He's still good. He's real healthy. I was going to get him a mate, but I don't have any money lately. I'm not going to... I haven't bought anything for this tank in uh, probably over a month or a month and a half now. I'm doing good, except for an assassin snail. But... He was cheap, but you can see the little beta here, my little white one. Come here. Hey, come here. Maybe she'll come out. She's hard to see on the camera, but she really stands out in here. I know you see me. You can see the calico platy, I think, had kids because, uh, Four baby platies that I have, which are like babies and then new babies. It's like two generations of them, but they seem to be calicos. So it used to only be it used to only be her that had all the babies, and he's the only male in the tank besides the new babies. Of all these babies, there's one male, Sunburst, and then there's the rest of them are all females. But okay, I'm still rambling. <laughs> My one Danio survivor, he's still in here. My twin algae eaters, my Siamese twins. Um, yeah, everybody's... Hey, you care. Everybody's doing good. I wish you could see her better, but in the camera, she just kind of like washes out. But uh, I'm about to feed them. I do have one beta who's sick. My little purple one. And actually, there she is. She's been pretty swole up. And now her top fins look like they've been nipping at her a little bit. There's my assassin snail back behind her. I usually don't see it. I finally trimmed the corner plants back there. Got them down and bushy like they're supposed to be. The Ozalot sword's doing great. Uh, you see crypts have taken over. But all the plants here in the front, everything doing pretty well. The red crypt right there. That is a red winty. Just like these are all brown with these. And I've got one green. But um, they're all the same. The um, the couple plants that I had floated have stayed floated and started growing. And they're actually growing up out of paint now. So sometimes if you let your plants float, they will grow up out of the top. I'll raise the water level back up, but... For now, it's down. I'm going to go ahead and feed them. I'm going to overfeed because I didn't feed yesterday, but I'm about to do a big water change. Before I refill the water. Yeah. Hog heaven right now. <laughs> yeah, everyone's doing great. Just a tiny tank update. Thank you.